Good morning from Lay Ladakh, which is in India's very, very remote, far north Himalayas. This place is very, very hard to get to. I'll quickly show you some of that. People around here are mostly Tibetan with a, it's a bit of a Muslim population as well because it's kind of next to Kashmir. <sighs> So I'm a bit out of breath because uh, this place is also three and a half thousand meters up. Okay, that's Lay Palace up there. I guess that's where we're going. This place is beautiful. Um, I've never been to Central Asia before, but I'd imagine it looks kind of similar. Like when you think of India, you don't really think of this landscape. Okay, I'm sorry subscribers, but I'm about to drop the N-word. This place is nifty. Before I came to Ladakh, I was told this place was absolutely crawling with tourists at the moment. Probably because Delhi is like 50 degrees. So far, there's not many. I haven't seen any in this palace in the center of town. Palazzo for my European subscribers. All two of you. If you're in Europe, can you please smash like and subscribe? If you're not in, you know, whatever. It looks like someone kind of lives around here. Or through these doors anyway. Yeah, some food. Uh, cooking utensils. Socks, clothes. Sweet gig if you can just turn up into a palace and start living there. <laughs> I've just found an empty room, an empty dark room which says childcare hall. <laughs> oh wow, this is so accommodating for children. Well, if you don't like children, it's pretty accommodating. So there was a sign inside Lay Palace, which I found quite depressing. The 17th century Lay Palace dominates the city, built by the country's greatest king, Sinj Namgyal. It still stands, commanding a prominent view over Lay Town, reminding the locals and visitors of its once glorious past. It's a bit negative, isn't it? If you replace the name of the king and the name of the place, it kind of sounds like they're describing a uh, knife-addled UK sh hole, Some place like Scam upon Scampy or something. Way, you're better than this. And now, continuing the British theme, this little tour of Ladakh. I'm walking up this very steep hill to Old Castle. It's probably an old castle in, in the UK, right? Let me know in the comment section below if there's an old castle in the UK.
Well, how's the bloody serenity? Oh, sick. There's a mangy dog here. Well, as an uninformed YouTuber, all I can say about this place is it's epic. Hey. Hurt me more than it hurt you, trust me. Nice. All right, enough of this cultural stuff. Let's eat some of the food of Ladakh. Ladakhian cuisine. Is that a Ladakhsidives? No, no, no that, that, that's, that's much worse. This is genuinely the only chill city in India I've ever been to. Like it's nice and clean and there aren't car horns every few seconds. Is this India? <laughs> Pretty sure they're mutton, and it comes with the uh, lovely bone broth. Well, that was bloody delightful. Cost 160 rupees. Nothing. We're now on the outskirts of Leh, and we're checking out the Hall of Fame, which is a military run museum. I'm sure, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful display of propaganda. Okay, that was closed um, because it's Monday, apparently. That's a, that's a thing, but it's fine. I found something with a really cool name. That's right. The Fire and Fury Shopping Complex. So, I normally don't like filming in cities that much, but I feel like Lay is pretty borderline in terms of being a city. Um, but from tomorrow, we're getting out into Ladakh. So, funny little story. I had uh, plans to go to a monastery outside of town, and you need a permit to get to lots of places in this region. And the guy who rented me a scooter is currently getting my permit. And he knew where I was going, but still thought he could just rent the scooter to me anyway. Classic maneuver. So I was stopped by Indian police, a lovely policewoman, not in that bald and bankrupt, creepy way. Like, I love Indian police women, in it. Yeah, so anyway, she stopped me. I was there for ages. If you've ever seen that creepy video, it's gross. They weren't letting me through, but eventually they called up the guy who rented me the scooter and gave him the biggest bollocking over the phone. The only words I understood were foreigner, and uh, which they used quite a lot, probably talking about the band foreigner, great band, um, and uh, also election, because today they're counting the election results. Anyway, I promise in the next few days we'll, uh, we'll get further, further out of town. We'll have a proper Christmas next year, I swear. Hey mates, how we doing? Three donkeys, two dogs. This might be the best thing I've ever seen. See, this is why I leave the house. This is great. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. So I got my permit to go further afield. And so we're back on the road. Uh, today I just went straight through the checkpoint. No one was even checking. Classic. So yeah, not sure where I am right now. Probably half an hour west of Leh. Walking up a very steep path. Oh, 
I mean, you don't hear any traffic. It's really, you're really quiet up here. This landscape is so desolate. The only stuff you find out here, military base out there, a monastery down there. It's like this whole area is, it's like the moon. If the moon was populated entirely by Tibetans, oh, I bet the Chinese are gonna bloody want to come in now, aren't they? And now to continue down this road. The further I ride out here, the cooler it gets. It just, I don't think it can get more desolate and then it gets more desolate. It's really, really cool. <laughs> also, around here, all the roads um, you know, run by something called the Border Roads Association, which has the acronym BRO. So there's lots of signs with safety warnings which say BRO on them, which I keep reading in a New Zealand accent. Oh bro, go slow bro, come on bro. Bro at your service, pride of the nation, hope you enjoyed the ride bro. Bro, take heed, don't speed bro, come on bro. Bro, don't use cell phone while driving bro, come on bro. Bro, you booze, you cruise, you lose bro. Come on bro. All right, just stopped to have a little uh, sticky beak around this abandoned little village I found on the side of the road. At least I think it's abandoned. Maybe it's haunted. Well, I'm not getting in there or there. Never going to know who lived here or why they left this joint. Maybe I could claim squatters' rights. This is the Buddha. He's kind of like a Chinese Jesus. Say hi, Buddha. Oh, he's a bit shy. Bro, stay focused, bro. Come on, bro. You know how you've never heard a Buddhist monk say, smash like and subscribe? It's a 
because their minds are peaceful. Rather than walking through a monastery, filming things like a goddamn dingbat. I'm going to end the video here. It's always about the journey, not the destination. And this is Lay Ladakh region. Huh. Oh, it's a cool bird. Um, I'm business class 69. See you in the next one.